Josh Hank here for the DVRT Ultimate Sandbag Training System along with physical therapist Jessica Bento. In DVRT we're always looking at building bare progressions through our system. So one thing we wanted to look at whether you're into our tactical vaulting with the Ultimate Sandbag or get ups with kettlebells, barbells or dumbbells, teaching people to come off the ground effectively is definitely a key concept. Now what I've struggled with for a while is really having a, an ability to teach a lot of different fitness levels the get up depending upon body size, weaknesses and so forth. And I saw a great video by Dr. Perry Nichols and then uh, in talking with them, he got from Dr. Craig Liebenson about what they call baby get up. Now, I don't know if we want to call it baby get up. You know, some of your clients may feel like it's a not not a really great thing. But we call side lying get ups. So up to you. But basically, they call it baby get up because of the sequencing from you know an infancy stage. What we're going to do is start Jessica on her side, top knee bent over, arms toward the inside. Her other arm creates an L over here. The reason we're going to do this, we're going to really catch any problems with the get up really early on. So a lot of people, they muscle through get ups, they comp uh, compensate through the get up, and they just try to lift the weight. We always want the movement to be first. So what Jessica's going to do is focus on this arm coming down. And when she does so, she's going to press through this heel and this side leg, try and keep everything in contact so she comes up and opens up her thoracic spine. She's going to come back down really slowly under control. Now, if she was having a disconnect in her core stability, as she came up, this leg would almost immediately pop off the ground or you'd see her really flex in her trap. So yeah, something like that. So we want to practice a couple repetitions. So just as I come, open, and then down nice and slow. We want to be able to control it coming up and coming down. The knees not collapsing inward, the legs staying on the ground. Now, of course, once she masters that, we're going to give her an ultimate sandbag to the shoulder position. This is going to increase the stress on her side, and I like this a lot more so because the arm angle than a gap, uh, than a cowbell or dumbbell, we can load the lateral system. So now this is much more challenging as she tries to come down to keep everything in play. Nice, Jessica. Very nice. So she's sequenced very nicely through the movement. The advancement here, and I was talking to uh, DVRT master uh, Danny Jackowitz or Danny Two Guns about this. Come on back down, Jess is he's used a very similar style for people that really can't do the full get up. He basically will come to a side plank. So coming down, we can put together all these great so concepts. So Jessica, go and come up. And then she's gonna reposition her arm and then she's got a side plank. Hold and then back down and we can reverse the motion. So we can work in either just the simple segments of coming up or we can work just a segment of planking or putting it together in a really great sequence. Really what we want to do are develop smarter exercises that help us build progressions to more. Next up, my next favorite drill, which I, I love to include this in most of my uh, exercises, is a front-loaded up-down. So, so with someone with scoliosis, a bilateral lift may not be the best thing for them because it's really going to break out and show some of those compensations from side to side. So this drill is wonderful. You're getting that postural control of the upper body. You want to make sure that they're maintaining that throughout. You're also engaging that core again with this movement. You want to make sure it's done nice, slow, and controlled, and you're watching for any compensations that might occur. But this one is a great one for anyone that's struggling um, with any of those bilateral lifts. Exercise is a key core exercise in the overall fitness program. It can link to more complex exercises like single leg deadlifts, but also correlates to everyday activities like walking. The key is how do you progress the bird dog and we're showing you some ultimate sandbag variations by using the drag of the ultimate sandbag you're using more of the anterior core and preventing lumbar extension which is what we're trying to prevent with this motion all right guys the reason we're starting supine is because it's the most stable body position to be in so we can really learn some patterning from being in a stable body position. So we're gonna focus on really control of the pelvis. So when Jessica presses the ultimate sandbag here, what she's starting to do right off the bat is engage the trunk, engage the lats, which is gonna help set her pelvis. She's gonna bend her knees, just like in a typical dead bug. Now this just gives her some additional loading. If, as she drops her leg, if this is way too easy, then we can always move the weight a little bit more overhead. But for a lot of people, what they're not keen on pond is keeping the pelvis stable. So we don't want to see the pelvis drop forward as she's doing this movement. So what we would do is progress her further and further overhead and then we can actually start some cross patterning. If we can't cross pattern if she can't stabilize her pelvis first. So Jessica, let's come back to the middle. And so whenever we change one variable, we're going to bring her back to a more stable position which will be over her chest. So we'll get her legs up again. And the cool thing about using the ultimate sandbag here is we can actually add rotation to the movement working that cross pattern. So starting over her chest, 
Now you see how she's rotating that cross pattern. So we're getting that nice X pattern and making sure she still is able to control her pelvis, but also engaging a little bit more of the upper body. Again, keeping those lats in place. This would be progressed by adding more of a reach. So we're going to extend the range of motion. You can think about this as literally supine crawling. So if she were to reach, nice chest, she's engaged. You see how she doesn't allow her back to extend? Perfect. And again, you can gauge how far back over the head that goes, but this would be a good opportunity to work on a little detail such as pulling the handles apart, which gives you more engagement of both the trunk and the lats.